Hey everyone, Cookie here. I'm bringing you a must-know tactical jump on rail. This is an insane jump. It allows you to get from bottom mid to top mid without going up purple or yellow ramps. So, this jump was discovered by a friend and I when we were jumping around rail trying to find tactical jumps and nade spots. We tried a few things out, and this is one of the things that we kind of found by a fluke. It, it works similarly to a ghost jump in Halo 3, or a ghost ledge jump, I don't know if you know that. Um, and it also works similarly to the gold 1 to gold 2 jump on Guardian in Halo 3. So I don't know if you know those things, but you don't need to to get this jump. So I'll explain how it works. You see that I'm on the ramp that leads up to snipe spawn, um, at least in double snipe spawn. I'm looking at this wall with a slanted wall and a wall that faces you. So it's, this crevice right here resembles the gold 1 corner that you used in, on Guardian to get up to gold 2. So you can even see that the wall comes out a little. That is a small ledge. I'm not sure if 343 intended this ledge to be jumped off of. I really don't know, but this jump, I've never seen anyone else do it. Like I said, the first people I've ever seen do it are my friend and I in a custom game. So... Um, I don't really know if they intended to to for this jump to be on this map, but but anyway, this is how you do it. So what you're going to do is aim toward where I'm shooting right now. Aim toward this purple line. And what you want to do is start from the middle of the ramp, slightly down from the top of it where I am right now, and you're going to sprint jump up and jump when you get to the end of the ramp. And as you can see right now, I'm starting to turn. You start to turn, and then as you're about to hit the wall, you know, your weapon is drawing up, which means you stop sprinting. And then this doesn't require a jump or anything, but as you hit the wall, if not slightly after you hit the wall, you press jump again, and then you can just get up on the ledge. I'll show you again on yellow side. So what you're going to do is aim toward this yellow line. You can see that I line it up and you can even wait here for a little bit. Obviously if you're under pressure you would do it more quickly but with practice you can get to doing it every time. So what I do, sprint jump up, turn, and at the same time as I hit the wall, if not slightly after I hit the wall, I jump again and I'm up on this, this ledge. Um, like I said, you do not have to crouch throughout this entire process. Maybe if your jump doesn't bring you that far up on the ledge, you might have to crouch to get up on top um, after you jump off of the wall. But if you do the jump correctly, you know, 90% of the time you do not have to crouch the entire time. So, as you can see, once again, aim where I'm shooting and jump, or start where I shot right there on the ramp, slightly down. Sprint jump from the top of the ramp, turn, you know, release sprint before you jump, and then press jump right after you hit the wall. I'll show you one more time on yellow side. So this is how it looks in normal speed. So just to go through it slowly one more time in case you are having trouble with it. You start from the middle of the ramp slightly down from the top. What you do is... Alright, oh yeah, I shoot this to show you... So what you do is aim toward the yellow line. Oh, well, this is very, very, very slow-mo. But as you're going up, see, you can see that you don't even need to turn that early. I start to turn right here. See how there's a ledge right there? That ledge you can just jump off of. You don't need to press jump at the same time as you hit the wall. In fact, I actually wait like maybe a quarter of a second or a half a second before I press jump the second time. You can even see that my character flattens out right there. Um, you can feel your character land on the ledge before you have to jump. So do not feel like you have to. The biggest tip that helps me just get this almost every time is not feeling like I have to jump at the same time as I hit the wall. You can wait a half a second, delay your jump slightly, um, and do not worry about getting to the top ledge. If you hit the first part of the jump correctly, then you will guaranteed get on top of the ledge. 
So just one more last thing is you do not want to aim toward the slanted wall, the wall on the left uh, that you can see on the screen right now. You don't want to bounce off of that wall and then try to get on the ledge. You want to go directly to the wall that I'm aiming at right now. I'll play it one more time for you full speed. Uh, start from the middle of the ramp. So you sprint, jump, turn, and then jump again. And then you are up. Um, I'll show you from third person. Pretend you're running away from someone, you're being shot in the back, and you just need a quick getaway. Or you want to flank people who are up here, who are going down the ramp because they think you are there. So what you do is perform the jump, and then you are up here, and then of course you are free to flank around and take people out. So just uh, a couple things. This jump is quite difficult. It took my friend and I very, 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 very long to perfect. Now it's to the point where I can do it over 95% of the time. I rarely miss it, whether under pressure or not. And it is super effective whenever rail comes up, especially in doubles. So what I recommend you do is watch this video, watch the slow breakdown of it. Um, if you really have trouble, then you can send my gamer tag, as you can see on the screen. You can send it a question or just write it in the comments, and I'll try to answer any questions. But don't get discouraged. If you get it once, that means you can get it every time. I started and I failed it like, you know, I failed it like 20 times in a row before I got it the next time. But eventually, with enough practice, you can perfect it. And it is a crazy jump because you don't have to use the ramps, and it works on both sides. Anyway, um, thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And I hope you enjoyed. See ya.